ago. Environmental group released its report Thursday. One of the things NRDC looked at was whether states were taking steps to curb greenhouse gas emissions. The pollutants blame was not one. Yeah. California, well, New York, and turn around. the states rank as most fair. Well, according to AAA Arizona, gas prices in the state dropped by nearly a penny at pumps this week. The average pump price around the state is $3.89 a gallon. Nationally, prices were regularly increased by 1.5 cents to an average of $3.93 a gallon. Unbelievably, yeah. you take the long, the shortcut long cut routine. You know what I mean? Let me get, uh, let me film you in front of the, in front of the sign. Yeah. Hi, how you doing, sir? Good, glad to meet you. My name is Michael. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We took some dirt road coming this yeah. way. Ron Paul, baby. He's gonna make land here. He's gonna make profit. Another way and another way, and every road, dirt road that he's taking is not going through. Because he doesn't know what road he's trying to take. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Ron Paul sign. I remember the day that was put up. Yeah, it was about two years ago. About two years ago. Probably yeah, the yeah. first Ron Paul sign of the nation. For Ron Paul 2012, yeah? Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So tell me, what's been the response to having your sign here? Uh, we've had a few people stop by and... Uh, I'm very happy to see the sign. I'm glad to know somebody knew who Ron Paul was up here. Right. Our first uh, first call we got was our neighbor who's uh, about a block away. She's uh, an older woman. Right. And she didn't know who Ron Paul was. So you gave her... And, and then, yeah, so I told her about that. And then we had a uh, another call where a uh, guy asked if I was Ron Paul. So uh, <laughs> I guess there, there wasn't a lot of... Uh, a lot of interest in politics up here, at least by the people, those people anyway, so. Right. <laughs> but uh, we've had other comments. We had one guy stop in. He was uh, really pleased that uh, had the sign out. Um, he's been a big So it's supporter. been a positive response. Has oh, the city yeah. given you a part problem or anything? Never heard from the city at all. Okay. So, which was, uh, we kind of expected we would, but we didn't. So it's good. It's a good thing. So there, the, yeah. And then, so. Anyone make any donations or anything? Or no, I'd be willing to take some. Though. Well, I'd love to give you some, but I'm taking <laughs> donations just to do this film. But uh, you know, what what I want to do is get more people, you know, to donate to people who are are willing to put up their their time and money to be able to do stuff like this because right. you know, if we don't do it, no one's going to do it. That's right. And you know. He has the support. The mainstream media is blacking him out. I mean, do you see the ma the mainstream media blacking him out? Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. In what way? I mean, I mean, just. I mean, he's got with the number of delegates he's got, they they just they pretend like he doesn't exist. But that doesn't surprise me. So you know, you'd expect to expect that. Now, what about? Do you think? Uh, what, you know, you know that. What do you think about Mitt Romney being electable? Do you think that he is electable? Do you think the public is think, ready for a, Mo a Mormon president? I don't think. I think anybody's electable if the powers that be want to put him in, yeah. and uh, they're going to use whatever techniques they need to see that the people they want are in there. Well, what about? But I mean, do you believe that the American people would vote for? I mean, they're going to put up against Obama because the Republicans want to get Obama out. That's their number one thing. Right? Can a, a, a guy who is a Mormon beat Obama? You I, think, I think the media can manipulate things so that anybody could be elected. Whether right. it should happen or not, no, it shouldn't. But I think we've we've lost it a long time ago in this country. Okay. So I don't I don't see a lot of hope for uh, anything to get fixed. Well, if you didn't have any hope, we wouldn't have put up the sign. Well, that's right. We got so we, we do have some we keep the message going. We have some hope. I mean, I have hope. I, I mean, think things have to get really, really, really bad before it'll get better. Well, let's make, see if it can... You know, I, I believe that, you know, if things get really bad and we don't have Ron in, in, in place as right. our as our president, then we're totally screwed. Because at right. least he'll know he'll know what to do. Obama or all these other fascists will, will just make the problem worse. And I believe that they are building up to something. And part of that something is to have Obama in as our president. Because we all know that 95% of the time, incumbents win. Yeah. So the only way to possibly get to, to, to get a, rep a Republican in, if you truly want a Republican, you're going to have to get people, a Republican in. You're going to have to bring the Democrats over to the Republican side. Because after George Bush, everyone's so pissed off at the Republicans that they don't want to vote for him if they didn't put Jesus Christ there.
Well, I don't know. There's a, when they get me into the back room, I don't think there's a lot of difference in the parties. <laughs> no, there's not. But they they claim that they want yeah, to have right. you know a, a Republican. But it's right. I, I mean, do you see it like a WWD World Wrestling match? You know, as like it's yeah. predetermined oh, yeah. outcome. Yeah, pretty much. I think when if it's going to be a close election, they can control it. If you get a landslide, that, that's something they can't control. Right, and that's why we have to do right. this. Right. So that's what we're going to be doing is putting up more billboards all around the country, right. and then. Helping other people, you know, we could put some lights on here. We could repaint this. Yeah. And Terry, tell me what you do for a living. Uh, I'm kind of retired. You, you, you gave me a little while. extra time because I yeah. took a shortcut that turned right. into a long cut. Yeah, that's right. This is a shortcut. <laughs> Going through the backwoods, of Arizona, somewhere between Drake. Cottonwood. Right. And uh, you had an appointment. I thank you very much for staying. Is there anything you'd like to add in closing? I mean, do you have well, anything think, uh, you'd like to add? The thing to do is just to keep the word going out and, and uh, keep telling people about Ron Paul. Right. What we can do, get the message out. Right. It's not the man, it's the message. Absolutely. So. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Terry. I appreciate your 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 candor.